Tiffany. I am here with this candy locks surprise box. <laughs> that rhymes. I want to thank the company for sending this to me to open up with you guys today. Let's get started. I like, I love this little logo right away. We have the candy locks wording obviously, but it's in on top of a little cotton candy. It's so cute. But let's open this up and see. Look at that, we got like a little style sheet, instructions, whatever. So many sensational ways to style. Twirly, swirly, twist, sugar high pony, and delicious double buns. Woo! <laughs> Lots of pretty paper in here, let's see. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so right away we have the, oops, that's stuck on in there. I'll have to get that out, but we have two of the Candy Locks blind boxes, well, blind cotton candies. We have candy in there. Look at those, those are the strawberry gummies. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. It smells like strawberries in here. And then it looks like we have some additional hair accessories. Like this, for instance, for my hair, you know, for us. And, but, and, and what else do we have over here? Oh, we have more. They're, they're all kind of like stuck to the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out and then we will take a closer look at everything. I am loving the accessories that I got for my hair so that I can look just like our candy locks. Look at this bow, it's so cool, so pretty. And we got a bunch of sparkly hearts. And this one's my favorite. <laughs> and then we got these hair twisties. We'll see, inside here we actually get a lot of accessories for our doll's hair, but those will be for my hair for later. Let's look at the dolls next. So we have two of them. You can see that they come with a different colored hair. So this is their hair inside. So. This actually helps to kind of narrow it down. So if you want a certain one, obviously you're gonna look for a certain color container, certain color cotton candy. So I think that's really awesome. But let's let this actually get the checklist open. I could show it to you a little bit better. This comes open very easily, just like this. Ta -da! And inside the little cone part, we have a blind bag which contains some hair accessories. So we have a heart gem, we have a star gem, and a diamond gem. And these gems all have Velcro on the back of them so they stick right in your doll's hair. Then we have this, which is the doll. We're gonna wait for a second to get this open first. This will be our checklist, I believe. So let's cut it open. And first up, let's take out the accessories. We have this heart doodad thing. I'm not sure what to technically call it. And then we have another heart one in a different color and different style. And then we have a hair twisty. And then I think that might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. And we have our checklist. So our checklist has a lot of stuff going on. First of all, it has hairstyles on it that you can try. I think they're the same ones that, yeah, that we saw on the box when we opened it up. The twirly swirly twist, the sugar high pony, and the delicious double buns. They teach you step by step how to do this, which is so awesome. Then, if we flip it over, we have our series one dolls. There's common ones, there's ra super rare ones as well. And what I meant by, you know, you can look for the certain color hair. So, for instance, we have this kind of classic cotton candy look, the blue and the pink. So, you're gonna look on here. This one might be technically blue and pink there. And this one's, de no, this one's definitely blue and pink. And this one's blue, pink, and yellow. So if you're looking for, and then this one right here. So let's say you're looking for this one right here, Bonana. You're gonna look for that color in the cotton candy container. But let's open this one up and see which one we got. Hello, I actually don't know who you are yet. We're gonna have to look on the list. Let's see. She actually looks like Betty Berry. Betty Berry? I'm pretty sure she's Betty Berry. Now, she does smell, the hair does smell good. Yeah, this smells a lot like berries, like mixed berries, blueberry, mostly blueberry, I think. Yeah, and it's so super soft, you guys. I can't even tell you how soft this hair is. It's just, I can honestly play with it all day. It's, it's amazing, and it's nice and sectioned, so it's easy for styling. And it's very, very, very long, you guys. I still can't believe how long it is. It's just crazy. I can't, I can't even show you how long it is. It's just, it's just crazy. So here's like the doll. The doll's this big compared to my hand. It's all the way, 
Got all of this hair. Talk about Rapunzel, am I right? <laughs> So here she is. This is our beautiful little doll. She has a cute little face with these little heart bits on her cheek. And she has a beautiful purple dress. Her arms actually move. And she has heart stockings with some high heels. Look at the heart heels. So cute. And then she can actually sit. So her arms move at the shoulder and she can sit at the waist. Now. I think it's time we try ourselves a hairstyle. We are obviously going to try one of these. There's the twirly swirly twist, which I love braiding hair, so I don't know, maybe we should take on a challenge with the sugar high pony. So the sugar high pony seems very simple. It seems like um, it'll be a very long ponytail, but it's very simple. So it looks like we bunch it up, then we take one of these, any one of these I guess. I'm going to take this one from the back so it looks a little better maybe. And then we got to loop it around like so, I think, like this, I think, <laughs> I think I'm doing it right. And then we just go ahead and tuck it in like this, if I can do that. Well, I might tuck it in the back. Maybe I'll tuck it in the back. Come on. I think I might have done it too tight, but yeah, yeah, it works. All right, so here is the Sugar High Pony. It's not that great, but hey, it looks good. And you could totally, you know, make it your own. You don't have to follow the step-by-step -step instructions. You can just braid and twist and tuck all you want to. We're gonna actually stick with this for now. I actually should have bunched it up. Maybe I should do that. Actually, I have a better idea. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make it our own. <laughs> we're going to undo this here. And we're going to double up the ponytail so it kind of, well, we'll keep this piece, right? We're gonna bring this over here. So maybe, th maybe this will work, I don't know. And then we loop it. See, it's gonna have a little extra hanging out, but that's okay. <laughs> it, we're making it our own. It's a, it's a cute style. So now we gotta tuck it. Tuck it in there. And look at that! That's actually, I think a lot, well, it's a lot crazier, but it is, a little less long, so if you kind of want to tuck it, there you go. So let's go ahead and put the new little styling things in her hair. So we have the little hearts here that we're going to go ahead and stick in. Actually, yeah, let's stick them in up here. And then we have our little Velcro pieces. So they stick right on there. Sometimes they'll fall off. You just got to push a little harder. They'll stick eventually. And let's put this one in here. Oh, I forgot about our hair twisty. I guess we can't really do that because we don't have it. Well, maybe we can. Maybe we can twist it in. Could probably twist it in. Maybe. Let's see. It might be a little tricky. But, ah, uh, close enough. So we twist. <laughs> Her hair is kind of a mess right now. <laughs> I'm not a stylist. We'll just throw that out there. I did uh, move this out of her hair. So, ah! Put it in here over here. All right, so there's our first girl. She's done, she's styled. Let's check out the next one. This is probably my favorite color combination of all of their hair, so I'm excited to have this one. Now let's go ahead and open this up. Maybe. Oh no, it's really stuck. Oh, I think there's tape there. We got a piece of tape there. I think we're good now, I think. If not, we can, there we go. Oh, we got some Okay, let's dump that out and we should get our this checklist and, and accessories out. Let's see what color gems we got. So these will always be gems, the ones in the cone, but they might vary in color. They do stay the same shape. I did do a full box opening of these guys and you should definitely check it out. I found some pretty cute, cute, cute cuties. Here is the star. So we have the diamond, the heart, and the star, but in different colors. And then, here is our bigger blind bag. We have a another heart piece. It's a different color though. And ooh, it's a cake. <gasps> ooh, and then let's see what else is in here. Oh, we have our twisty, that's right. Gotta try to remember to use the twisty. I'll probably forget again. <laughs> but let's go ahead and unwind this one here. Ooh, oh my gosh, I love this one. Let me smell her hair. Oh, she smells so good and delicious and like cake. Definitely like cake. I don't know what she's supposed to smell like. We'll have to check on the list in just a second. Let's get that over here. 
and oh, I thought it was that one right away, but nope. Uh, let's see. I think this is Birthday Kate, and she does smell like vanilla, so yeah, like cake. Really good. I love it. Oh my goodness. She's my favorite. Sorry. Sorry. No, I don't mean it. <laughs> I'm excited to style her hair. Let's go ahead and get started. Actually, no, I should probably show you the doll first. She's my favorite automatically because she has sprinkle decorations by her eye there. You guys can kind of see it. It's so cute. And then she has like a cone skirt and she has sprinkles on her stocking. And she also has the same heels with the little hearts there. And of course she moves the same way. By the way, their heads move. I forgot to mention that, but Anyway, let's work on a new style here. So we did a variation of this. We could do the dollish just double buns or we could do the, the braid. I kind of want to do the braid with her hair. It just looks really pretty. I think maybe if we do the braid, well, let's say we do the braid and then maybe we can wrap it around and make some kind of bun. So let's go ahead and get started here. We just gotta twist it. And you can make this like one single braid. You can make this a bunch of different braids because they come in, uh, what would this be? You can make pigtails technically because there are six sections of hair. There's two different colors. So two, well, obviously. <laughs> so there's two pink sections and there's four, technically there's four sections of pink hair and two sections of yellow hair. So I don't think, I think this is a little bit too tight, but this, it's looking good, it's looking good. And then, oh, I think I might have braided it too much. Wait, what's the next step? Uh, it doesn't say. Well, you could use a little tie or you could just use the tucking method like we have been using. It really does work. I think this is such this is such good, such good hair to style with. I wish, I wish my hair was this soft and nice and easy to style. <laughs> All right, I should have did this in the back, but that's good enough. Again, I'm not a stylist, but it's so cool and so soft and so kind of like stretchy ish so it's movable and we have this going on look at that look at that not my best braid but it works and then you can like I don't know do something here <laughs> I wonder if we if, I'm gonna try to figure something out let's see if we could like tuck it somehow this way it would be really cool because you'd have a big big braid bun thing maybe if we just knot it I'm wondering if this will work Oh my gosh, this might actually work. I kind of lost her in there, but there we go. <gasps> Look at this hairstyle. Okay, now I just need to tuck this in somewhere. I'm gonna tuck the loose ends. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at her. Look how fancy. Oh my goodness. This is a do for a queen. <laughs> let's add in some little accessories over here. So we have her cake. It's coming undone. I didn't tuck it well enough. Let's not look at that. I forgot to do the twitsie again. <laughs> It just twists into her hair. It's fine. And then we can put the little hearts there. And then of course we're gonna put our little gems. I'm not putting them in, in well enough. Let's stay. Look at this. This one, this one's so super pretty. I love her hair, sorry. I mean, they're different hairstyles. I mean, you know, there there's some variation there, but so far I am so excited for her hair. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which of these two styles of hair that I made today is your favorite. Is it style number one? This is like dangling. Or is it style number two over here with the ponytail? Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.